everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, post, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll be doing a live radio show right here on this channel. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. We talking Jets, baby. All right. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets releasing Lakin Tomlinson. Yes, they released him, for those of you that may not know. And uh, we're going to have a discussion about this, man. Okay? The Jets released Lakin Tomlinson. And that saved the New York Jets $8.1 million on the cap, okay? Um, man, I mean, this move, in my personal opinion, didn't surprise me. Um, we've seen, you know, <laughs> we've seen Lakin since he's been here. Hasn't necessarily performed very well, right? And I knew that Joe Douglas would take this opportunity to get away from that contract, and, you know, get the cap space to really take care of business and do what he needs to do to address this, right? But there was a lot of Jets fans that were upset. Um, and I had back and forth, you know, had discussions with them. And one of the things that a lot of those Jets fans told me was, well, Joe, we already got holes along the offensive line already. We're, we're looking for our left tackle. We're looking for our right tackle. Now we got a hole there at left guard, Joe. Come on, man. And I said, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Did y'all watch the games? Because <laughs> even when Lakin was playing, there was a hole at left guard because he was trash. Okay? Lakin Thomas was not good. He wasn't. The Jets' interior of their offensive line struggled last season, at, especially at the guard spots, right? We saw that, okay? Uh, there was issues blocking. There was problems up front, okay? So, uh, no. No, it's good that Joe Douglas took care of business, said, hey, I'm moving forward. I'm not going to bring this guy back. Maybe they can bring him back as a depth signing or something like that. But he's going to venture. He's going to go out, take this $8.1 million, add it on to the cap money that we have, and do what it takes to get better, right? Do whatever it takes. He's going to allocate that money and make sure that he goes after a guard that's going to be able to come in here and hold the fort and really stand up. And don't talk to me and try to convince me that Lake and Thomason is bad because, well, it's all Keith Carter. It's all Nathaniel Hackett. No, <laughs> it's, it's not, okay? Listen, Lake and Thomason was here before Keith Carter and Nathaniel Hackett got here, and he was bad then, too. He was bad in Michael Flores' offense. He couldn't block. There was, goodness gracious, I remember when we were all concerned about the right side of the line more than the left at one point, right? It was, hey, we got ATV starting at right guard for the first time. You know, he's he's been looking good, but can he make... You know, can he transfer there? Is he going to be all right? Can he make that transformation and become a solid right guard? These were the big questions at one point here. Then you had Max Mitchell, right, at right tackle. And we were like, oh, Max Mitchell at right tackle. What's going on? Remember, Becton was hurt, right? And so we were like, okay, that left side of the line, we got some veterans over there. Those guys are getting destroyed. The left side of the line was the worst, and Lakin was the guy that was over there with the other tackle. Just getting cooked. Week in and week out, getting beat like they stole something. So stop talking to me about Lake and Thomason being bad because of Nathaniel Hackett and Keith Carter. That That's false as well. He just never performed up to what we thought he was going to be here. Just didn't work out, okay? And he didn't get it done. So now with him moving on, Joe Douglas is going to be able to attack the position, you know, possibly in free agency, making maybe in the draft. But I'm thinking he's going to absolutely try to make sure – he grabs a guard, brings it in here in free agency. But that starts to open up a question in my mind, right? Your boy Joe's always thinking. <laughs> and I say to myself, 
with Lakin out of here, does this open up the possibility, right? Or the opportunity to put ATV back at left guard where he originally started and allow him to go out there and feast from that position. And I think that it does. We know that ATV has been all over this offensive line, right? Started at left guard when we drafted him. He's been at right guard. He's moved out to left tackle at one point because we needed him out there with all the offensive line, offens offensive linemen we had hurt. Then he moved out to right tackle. We seen him. He's played very well, like very well across this line, but he's definitely been completely dominant at these guard spots, whether it be left guard or right guard. But that left guard position, he was just completely destroying folks before they really started moving him around. So it starts to make me think, man, that maybe this upcoming season, right? Or maybe this is in Joe Douglas's plans. We will see. I'm thinking that they'll probably put ATV back at left guard and just allow him to go out there and just destroy people you know, this next upcoming year, you know? It's going to be very interesting to see what they do, but there's a possibility. Now, I'm thinking we could see ATV return back to the position that he started at on this offensive line. So left guard could be ATV's spot this upcoming season. I'd be excited to see it, you know? I know he's going to come back and absolutely dominate people. Now, as we continue to talk about this guard position, I start to look around myself and I say, okay, well, we got free agency coming up. Are there guys out there that, New, that the New York Jets could target? Are there guys out there that Joe Douglas can target and bring into the building? And I, got, I started to look around, and I got some guys that I think could really come in here and be solid, solid players to help the interior of this offensive line really go north. You know what I'm saying? Really get better. Now, one of the guys, right, the guards that, that could be hitting free agency here, Ezra Cleveland from the Jags, man. I know that there was a lot of talk about him in the past. A lot of Jets fans were, you know, definitely calling for him to become a New York Jet. There's an opportunity, you know, that he's going to be out there. And I can see the New York Jets going after him and grabbing him, man. There's another guy as well, Kevin Zeitler from the Ravens. He's another guy. Now, he's an older guy. But, we know, savvy, savvy veteran offensive lineman can come in here and really get the work done. I like him as well. Robert Hunt from the Dolphins. Robert Hunt from the Dolphins is an interesting name. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But if he's out there... No, no, it's likely that he could be, and he's ready to go. I could see him making the jump from the stinky fish over here, you know, to the good side. You know what I'm saying? And really handling business there. And also, Kevin Dotson from the Rams. Now, again, he's an older guy as well, but uh, he's a guy I think can be brought in here and really handle business. So there could be, you know, there could be some shifting along this offensive line. I know we're going to go out, we're going to grab some guys. But we must do what it takes to ensure that we properly protect Aaron Rodgers this upcoming season. Whoa. It must be done. Listen, comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about the New York Jets releasing Lake and Tomlinson? What are your thoughts about ATV possibly moving back into that left guard role? What are your thoughts about that? Also, are there any free agent guards that you would like to see the New York Jets target? What are your thoughts about some of the guards that are brought in? Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.